Welcome back, Wolfpack. Vrillis here. We have a humble little battle with Phillips. So it looks like we have a Flygon. Pretty cool Pokemon. Love to see people using that. We got Breloom. A little bit of a mixed opinion Pokemon by most people with that super crazy spore. And then an Eviolite Marsh Stomp. So this could get pretty fun to watch. Leading off with the Breloom against the Dedene. Let's see how this battle ends up going out. Breloom's like, nah, don't need to worry about the Dedene too much. Let me switch in and get that free switch on the Marsh Stomp. Expecting some kind of electric attack and yeah it doesn't affect wow marsh stop is huge like that camera wow and in comes the zoomerill so zoomerill is going to try to make work of the marsh stop why is it so big and in the way it, it's catching me off guard Ooh, gets the curse in get a curse set up on the marsh stop with eviolite this could be pretty rough play rough comes in marsh stop doesn't take a lot of damage at all throws out the counter and dishes something back so Zoomerill is going to use Dig, not something you see too much, and Marsh Stomp's going to keep getting some curse action. So Marsh Stomp speed, speed's going to fall, doesn't really matter, going to gain a lot of attack, going to gain a lot of defense. Probably doesn't need to rely on the counter as much if you're using curse, honestly. Counter Mirror Coat though, very fun on a Pokemon like this, and there's another curse. Just setting up huge physically, and Zoomerill doesn't really have too much to answer for it. So there's the play rough coming again, going to do significantly less damage right now. And Avalanche going to return a big hit, even though it's not very effective. Plus three after taking the hit, going to be all right. And play rough going to come again, once again, from the Azumarill. Azumarill really needing a critical hit. Marsh Stomp's attack dropping. Avalanche is going to come in. I don't think it's going to be enough now because of the attack drop. Azumarill just hangs in there, going to get a little extra damage onto Marsh Stomp before it goes down. And there's the counter just to make sure it's like, you know what, not going to waste any time, not going to worry about Avalanche. Going to land that counter and score the KO. So Mawile comes in. This could be bad for the Marsh Stomp. Not really too worried about the uh, physical attack, or not really worried about the attack drop too much. Plus three against Mawile's huge power, but already missing some health on the Marsh Stomp. So we're going to see if this ends up going. Play Rough's going to come in, and... Marsh Stomp does survive. That's actually surprising. Gets the curse though. Maybe a touch of misplay. That's my phone. It doesn't look like Marsh Stomp really has much to heal off of. Like, counter, curse, avalanche, maybe mirror coat. I would think about dropping counter just because you're already raising your physical attack and putting on rest on the strategy. And that's one thing about Fan Fridays. It's also supposed to have a little bit of battle critique inside of it. So Brelum's gonna come in, use that mock punch. Neutral hit on Mawile, and Brelum's probably going to get ruined by this play rough. So it is Focus Sashed. I'm trying to wonder why the Mach Punch. You really need to get that Spore down onto this guy. Unless it's a Banded uh, Brelum. That would make a little more sense. Oh no, just gonna throw the Spore out after play rough misses. A little bit of hacks right there. Need to rush into that Spore. There's no reason to not throw it out. And. Yeah, with the uh, Swamp or the Marsh Stomp, I would also recommend doing that, so that's going to be alright. Opponent switches out, so I guess he's expecting to play uh, Sleep Claws. You kind of see this happen on Battle Spot sometimes. So, Dedene is going to come in, eat up the Mach Punch. Not very effective hit, but still does a good amount of damage. And Brelum is just going to spam out that Mach Punch and try to go for the damage right there. So, not bad. Going to just heal up with the Citrus Berry. Cheek Pouch is going to give Dedene a lot of health back. I think the math on Cheek Pouch is... 33% plus 25, so Dedene can get half its health back, but Nuzzle does knock out the Breloom in the end. So, a little, little bit of interesting survival right there, and Flygon is here to save the day? We're about to watch it. We're about to watch it, so Charm's going to come in from Dedene, going to lower that attack on Flygon very harshly, and Flygon's still going to go for the Earthquake, so super effective hit's going to balance it out. Dedene still goes down, so that... Flygon's got some bulk into it offensively. There's the Life Orb. I was like, are we going to see the Life Orb? That was a bit of damage right there. And now we have Mawile. Mawile's asleep, going to be super effective to the Earthquake. And I think that's going to round out the game right here. So I think that was a good, entertaining battle. I enjoyed it. Like seeing the Marsh Stomp. And I like helping out fans where I can. You know, a couple little misplays, not the best battle in the world. But overall, you know, there's room to improve everywhere. And it was still a good battle. We got to see some cool Pokemon we don't really see. And I enjoyed it overall. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good battle, Philip, my man. And I hope you all get ready for one more Fan Fridays.